Okay, so clearly um, we've been busy. I tried writing something the other day. I actually started it yesterday, and that didn't get done. So there's a lot going on, and I figure I've got this <laughs> feature available on my MacBook, so I might as well use it. Um, let's see what's going on. We're really busy, um, or more accurately, I'm really busy. And, well, my wife is really busy as well. Uh, Kendra is still taking classes Mondays and Wednesday nights, so that keeps us busy. But the last week and a half, I have been busy with the Big West Conference basketball tournament, which went off very well. But uh, it was a huge project that I'm still following up on while this week, and it is Tuesday. Oh, excuse me. It is Wednesday at 12.51 a.m. I'm actually in the office doing some work off of the Big West Basketball Tournament while we all prepare for the beginning of the NCAA tournaments. Uh, practices begin later today and games in the first round begin on Thursday here at Anaheim at the Honda Center. So that's what's going on with life and that's why you haven't seen anything new in a long time. But a lot of new stuff is going on with the girl. Most recently, the fact that she will not sleep in her crib. Uh, about the last week, we've had some serious issues with her waking up and not being able to go back to sleep, banging her head against the wall, crying, screaming, yelling, yada, yada, yada. I'm sure Kendra can tell you more than I can, although uh, I was up with her a couple of nights ago from 3 to 5 a.m. trying to get her back to sleep after she had been up from 1 to 2.30. Um, oh, still working, so I need to alter this file. Uh, what else is new? What else is new? Oh, tonight, Kendra is currently sleeping on the floor in Danica's room because the last couple of nights, the only thing we've been able to do to get her to fall asleep is to actually let her sleep on the couch in her room. Um, yeah, that's right. Sorry, I am transferring some files and some video files and things of that nature. Um, that doesn't go there. That goes back into this directory. So Danica is sleeping on the couch and has slept on the couch the last couple of nights. When I fell asleep with her, uh, she pushed me off the couch, made me lay down on the ground, and she fell asleep on the couch, which was fine with me, and I just slept on the floor. But I can tell you that it uh, it was cold for me, but it worked out for her. Unfortunately, tonight, Kendra has just called me and is sleeping on the floor in Danica's room next to the couch. Danica is sound asleep um, because Danica keeps rolling off the couch and apparently onto Kendra, but it doesn't wake Danica up. Uh, just when she was on the phone with me about 10, 5 minutes ago, um, Kendra went back in there and Danica had rolled off the couch onto the cushions that we placed on the floor and was still sleeping. So that is what is going on at home. Let's see what else is new. Other than that, Danica has been very, um, she's been happy, I guess. She's very demanding. She now refuses to pick up stuff that she throws on the ground. Uh, which is not the case, which was not the case a month ago. So she's kind of asserting her independence, I suppose. Um, what else is new? It seems like there's a lot, and I know there is, but I can't remember it right now because it's too early in the morning. Uh, the climbing out of bed thing is the biggest one. Oh, um, apparently at Danielle's, our babysitter Danica, uh, climbs out of the pack and play quite often when it's nap time and most of the time what Danielle and Jesse do is just put her back in there and tell her that she has to go to sleep in there and it's also been I also heard that Danica has climbed out of the pack and play and climbed into one of Danielle's kids beds um, and just kept on sleeping I guess so kind of a good sign, kind of a bad sign, considering the fact that we only have a crib and only have space for a crib. Um, we, last night, 
I had to move the crib away from the wall to keep her from banging her head against the wall. Unfortunately, she bangs her head against the edge of the crib now as well. And so she's got a couple of bruises, small bruises on her forehead, which is not very fun for us. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on. So I guess the transition to a bed should go okay, except for the falling out of it thing. So I guess we're going to have to figure that out. I think what we're going to do is end up putting her crib mattress on the floor and seeing if she'll go to sleep on that. I have no idea how that works. Now, fortunately, what we have discovered or what I've noticed is that if she does fall asleep on the couch or if you are in there with her and she decides to climb out uh, of the couch, she will not leave the room on her own. I did try and lay her down on the couch this afternoon and left the room. She started bawling, but uh, did not leave the room, just sat in front of the door to her room. So um, hopefully that works. Otherwise, we're going to have to find a way to lock those doors. So that is the latest. Everything else with the girl seems to be going well. Um, she's very verbal. She's picking up a lot of new words quickly. Um, and she is sure to tell you what she wants when she wants it. So anyway, that is what is going on in life these days. So maybe this will catch up a few people and keep me from... Uh, having to post a really long vlog later, so, um, what else, what else, what else, nothing, oh, watch Cal State Fullerton, men's basketball take on Wisconsin in the Midwest region in Omaha, Nebraska, Thursday, March 20th at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, if you are on the West Coast in Orange County, you can catch them on KDOC TV. Check your local listings because that channel is not carried by every cable provider. However, CBS will be carrying it online as well. So check them out. Hopefully they'll do okay. The women, our Big West Women's Champion, UC Santa Barbara, they are playing, let's see, in Norfolk, Virginia. They are playing Virginia on Sunday. March 23rd, that game is at 9.30 p.m. Pacific, uh, Eastern, 6.30 Pacific, and it is on ESPN2. So um, that's that. I am at the Anaheim Regional. We have, let's see, our first game Thursday will be Marquette versus Kentucky. Our second game will be Stanford versus Cornell. Our third game will be... BYU versus Texas A&M, and our nightcap will be UCLA versus Mississippi State. So uh, you can catch those games, and I will probably not be on camera, and it will be running around backstage. So that's what I'm doing, and I will talk to you all later. See you.